You know, I bet y'all never thought y'all see the day where Tasha St. Patrick, former wife to the legendary ghost man who was once the biggest drug dealer in New York, go all the way back to humble beginnings working a nine to five for a creepy boss. But that's exactly the image that's seared into our minds currently as Tasha reappeared in the Power Ghost series once again. Only this time, not in a state of triumph or solidarity, but as a woman whose back is against the wall and holding on by the thinnest of threads based on the culmination of her own choices, much of which have been half-smart concoctions to begin with. In this video, we'll run down some of those half-smart plans and assess how they factor into her current predicament and worse yet, how they even can cost her her very life in the final season of Power Ghost. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification to immediately receive these videos. Also, big thank you to all of my channel donors. If you'd like to be the next one, drop a dollar on that cash app for us. And lastly, a spoiler alert is now in effect for all things power. Here we go. When we last saw Tasha, prior to this current sighting, she had an emotional exchange with her son Tariq, trying to assist him in plotting out his very next moves following her shooting of Monet Tejada. And one can argue that it was that very shooting that placed Tariq in the position that he's in currently. Because let's backtrack a little bit. Tariq was originally gunning for Monet because he believed she was the one who passed on his mother's address to Tommy. Tommy would later stop Tariq and divert him from the counterproductive path of killing Monet. And in between the time that he did this, he must have had a conversation with Tasha warning her that Tariq was on Monet's heels because Tasha did reference it in her last exchange with Tariq stating that Tommy told you not to go after Monet. And now we realize that Tommy did that because he wanted to help create a situation where Tasha would take the shot and Tariq's hands would be clean. The problem with that is Tasha didn't finish the job. And after taking that shot, Tariq would be framed and ultimately betrayed by his collective, leading to his current status as an outcast of the game. And if that wasn't enough, it was Tasha who urged Tariq to infiltrate Noma's organization and by doing so, eventually get close enough to her where he could ultimately take it over, using Monet's critically injured status as justification for such a maneuver. In hindsight, all of this was extremely foolish. Tasha should have never taken that shot at Monet because when we really think about it, Tasha is an inexperienced assassin. Her only one true kill was that of her best friend, Lakeisha, and even that was done foolishly. As the ghost man pointed out during his final exchange with Tasha, way back in OG Power season six. Remember, once Ghost deduced that Tasha was the one that killed Lakeisha, he asked her a series of questions that she should have asked herself prior to pulling that trigger, including what happens to Cash now, which was Lakeisha's son? Where does he go off to? The sort of questions that defined him as the most cerebral character in Power's history. But moreover, it's the sort of questions that killers ask themselves when assessing the blowback of a potential murder prior to carrying out said murder. And this is something that we haven't seen from Tasha. Contrary to her legendary former husband, Tasha just does things with her sole focus on protecting Tariq and keeping him out of harm's way. And it's for this very reason that this commentator believes that Tasha won't survive this season because what she did by shooting Monet undid all of the work Tariq put in in keeping her safe. Remember, way back in season one, Tariq made a call against his mother's plan in order to keep her safe and put her in WITSEC to begin with. If it was left up to Tasha, she would have taken Tariq and Yaz and essentially been on the run. Another foolish concoction cooked up in the mind of the uninstructed. As the great representatives of the game once said, a woman with no instruction is heading for self-destruction. And Tasha being in the situation that she's in is exhibit A of that jewelry. And not only did Tariq make sure his mother was far from harm, but he also reunited her with her daughter. So now you're safe in Witsec and you're reunited with your last undefiled child, one who hasn't been perverted by the ways of the game. These were major arcs for Tariq's character throughout the Power Ghost series. And now with it on the precipice of ending, we see how the pillars of that work is crashing down before our very eyes. As Detective Don Carter, Tariq's latest police adversary, has all but threatened Tasha's Witsec status. And there's a lingering question in the minds of many of you as to why Tasha's still in Witsec to begin with. Because after all, she is cool with Tommy, right? And that was his original reason for placing her in Witsec. But remember, when Tasha snitched, she snitched not only on Tommy, but all of the subsidiary dealers as well. People like 2-Bit, for instance, who now has an axe to grind with Tariq, be it that Tariq just stole back his car. And remember this as well, 2-Bit did have the old address on Tasha, which was the reason Tariq gave up his Porsche to begin with, another maneuver to protect his mother and keep her out of harm's way. 
So once this wit sex status is lifted, and all signs point to it being that way, especially given what Tariq just did to Tasha's manager, what's gonna happen to her then? She's gonna be prime prey for the predators moving about in the game, though she wouldn't have to deal with had she stayed in the place that her son originally put her in, or hell, for that matter, that Ghost had even put her in. But that's a whole nother subject. But what's gonna happen to Tasha once Monet IDs the true shooter? Cause she's gonna get down to the bottom of this. And if Witsec isn't a buffer between Monet Tahada's rage and Tasha's person, then where do we find ourselves? In summation, Tasha has a history of half-concocting plans, executing said plans, and then dealing with the consequences later. Or should I say, having the consequences deal with her. But it's like the ghost man once said, and arguably the most cutthroat quote that he had ever given to a character, saving the best for his wife, of course. And that is this, I release you from my marriage. You can go back to being Tasha Green, the half-smart chicken head who would have never made it out the hood if it wasn't for me. But what are your thoughts on all of this? Will Tasha be meeting her in soon? Or does Tariq have one last trick up his sleeve in order to save her life once again? Be sure to drop me your opinions in the comments below. As always, I thank you for watching today's video. If you liked today's video, go ahead and drop a dollar on that cash app for us, hit the like button, share it with your friends who are power fans, and subscribe for more content such as this. This is Rudy P. Magic of Rudy P. Magic Beats, and have a blessed one until the next one. Peace, y'all.